What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about how to overcome spiritual demons. Now, first things first, I have a lot of people hitting me up asking me this one specific question. Uh, now, this one specific question that I am being asked by certain people is, it's this question like, uh, how do you know which voice to listen to in your head? Because we all know that this world is based on light versus darkness, okay? A real talk. And it's levels to everything. Now, uh, now, somebody had asked me, like, how do you get rid of demonic voices that's telling you to kill yourself? Now, first things first, I want to say, if you have voices in your head telling you to kill yourself, that means you have a lot of work to do spiritually. You know what I'm saying? You could be a spiritual person, but if you let, if you hear even dark voices in your head, that means that you are being held back by either suppressed memories or the devil just knows how to fuck with you. Now, first things first, like I said, it's levels to this spiritual ish, right? Now... With that being said, is like this, right? A lot of people have that voice in their head that tells them to do wrong. The, the voice that tells you to do wrong, if you ever notice that, that voice is the, always the loudest voice in your head. You know what I'm saying? That voice that tells you to do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? Smoke a cigarette or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That voice is always loud in your head. You know what I'm saying? That's the devil talking to you. Demons, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying the devil's voice is going to be the loudest in your head because if the devil is taking over you, you know what I'm saying, whether it's like via airwaves, you know, through too much extreme low frequencies or bad foods or just low vibrations or being around low vibrational people, the devil's voice is going to be loud inside of your mind because that's the vibration that's surrounding you. Now, did you ever notice that the good voice, which is your ancestors or your higher self, that voice is that quiet voice in your head that tells you to do the right thing. Like, for example, if you were at a crossroads and you look to your left and that road looks glamorous and it looks all nice and beautiful, but you look to the right and this road looks all narrow and, you know what I'm saying, it looks like a very long path, but it seems like it's kind of boring. The left path would be the devil. That would be the loud voice in your head telling you to go down this path, which seems glamorous, but it's really a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? But when you go right, it's a long, narrow path of nature that's taking you all the way back home, but you're gonna have to go through a scenic route just to get back home, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to get into it with your inner self. Now, basically what that is, is that voice that tells you to do the right thing, that voice is always that voice that says, no, don't do it, do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? This is the right thing to do. But since the devil's voice is louder in your mind, not for everybody, but the people who are surrounded by that low vibration, since the devil's voice is louder in their mind, they're going to follow the left path and go in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go down the wrong path. And that was their choice because they was at a crossroads. Now, like I say, now, if you have a voice in your head telling you to kill yourself, don't listen to it because it's a spiritual warfare out here, mentally, physically, emotionally, you know what I'm saying, spiritually. Um, now, basically, that's the devil. You know what I'm saying? Or the negative spirits trying to get you to kill yourself because they know who you are. They know how much power you contain. And they just don't want you to reach your full potential, right? But, like I say, for every new level, there's a new devil. So once you rise above and you reach a certain spiritual level, you're going to be rewarded for sticking to your grind and grinding out and going through all those rough patches. You're going to be rewarded by the most highs, the universe, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, Allah, Jesus, whatever you want to call it, you will be rewarded for sticking on that spiritual path and fighting through the evil, okay, you are going to be rewarded, but if you kill yourself and you let the evil spirits get to you, your soul is damned, you see what I'm saying, now, once you get to a certain, once you get to a certain level spiritually, there's going to be a new devil, but once you beat that devil, you're going to be rewarded, now you go to the next level, now you're on a new level, there's a new devil. You beat that devil. You get rewarded. You see what I'm saying? And as you get rewarded, you get rewarded by spiritual growth. You get rewarded by blessings and gratitude from the Most High. 
you get rewarded abundance from the most high. You get rewarded, you know what I'm saying, things physically, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get in tune with the most high, everything that you want physically in this world, materialistic things, it will come to you. Instead of you selling your soul for it, it will come to you. You know what I'm saying? The law of attraction. Now, like I said, spirituality it's a journey, it's a walk, it's not easy. Like I said, you have to overcome certain levels to get rewarded, you know what I'm saying? Because it's levels to this ish, you see what I'm saying? There are levels to the spiritually. You have to climb up those spiritual stairs. Because every you climb up those spiritual stairs, you're going to go through ups and downs. You're going to go through bad stuff. Like saying that you can avoid the bad is just like saying you can avoid the good. No, you can't. Because for every good thing, there's something bad. For every bad thing, there's something good. Whether you're doing something bad or good in the world or not, it's going to come around. That's how it is. Good and bad. It's balance. Man and woman is balance. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You can't have grass without dirt. You know what I'm saying? You can't have rain. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't have plants without rain and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? It's all balanced. So I'm letting you know, people, don't let those evil forces overcome you. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to get rid of those evil voices, you have to raise your vibration up, get some sun energy. You know what I'm saying? If you're having negative thoughts and depression and stuff like that, you're more than likely suffering from a low vibrational intake of spiritual energy. And... You don't want to meditate when you're surrounded by low vibrations because that's how demons can overcome you and take over your body. You know what I'm saying? You have to go, you have to go on the cleanse. You have to go on the fast. You know what I'm saying? First things first, you have to know who you are. And a lot of people always ask me, what's my spiritual number or how do I find out who I am? I can't tell you who you are because if, if I tell you who you are, then I will be breaking the universal covenant and I will be punished. You have to find out who you are yourself, okay? Once you know who you are, it'll click in your mind.